Hi, everyone. I'm Andrew Maliazzi. I'm the CEO of AdmitHub. Um, and I'd like you to meet Austin. Austin was the first person in his family to go to college, and his dream school was Georgia State. Uh, in 2016, he applied, got admitted, and was bound to enroll when he encountered some problems in the financial aid process um, and didn't know how to proceed. Um, oops. There we go. Uh, so most people don't realize there's this problem of summer melt where every year about two million people apply to college, get admitted, and say, I'm going, and then get derailed in the process. Uh, about 14% end, end up failing to show up in September, uh, resulting in about 350,000 students um, ultimately missing out on the higher education experience. Uh, even more so, students drop out at extraordinary rates in this country, uh, and we lose more than a million students every year. Uh, to challenges that can be easily overcome uh, if we just gave it the time and energy they deserve. Um, how do we solve this problem? Well, we meet students uh, where they are, uh, at the library. Nope, just kidding, uh, on their mobile phones. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we give them personalized assistance uh, every step of the way over text message. Um, I can show you a little bit more about it in a second, but essentially what we do is we combine uh, the best of behavioral science. Uh, we supercharge it with artificial intelligence and we infuse joy into the process every step of the way. Um, here's a little bit of what it looks like. Uh, we provide answers uh, using our patented neural network uh, to give students uh, responses to their challenges within seconds 24-7. Uh, we also uh, infuse fun and joy into the process and uh, craft numerous guided conversations to help students every step of the way through the processes that they encounter and oftentimes get tripped up with. Uh, sort of like this. Uh, this is our FAFSA tutorial, uh, walking students through the, the complex uh, issues of getting financial aid for college. Um, when it comes to Austin, actually, in 2016, he was fortunate enough to be in the treatment group of uh, a randomized control trial we ran at Georgia State University, where we launched Pounce, uh, the school's virtual assistant. Uh, and Pounce introduced him to uh, Aust himself to Austin and said, I'm here to guide you every step of the way. Um, and Austin uh, <laughs> peppered Pounce with more questions than uh, you might imagine reasonable. Um, and ultimately uh, was able to overcome his financial aid process uh, snafus by getting answers, getting guidance, and uh, getting an appointment with people who could help the most. Um, essentially, the research study, uh, which we launched in 2016, uh, <laughs> and hypothesized uh, that it would move the needle on this summer melt problem, was more successful than we ever dreamed. Uh, and here's a little uh, glimpse into it. Uh, about 90% of the students engaged, uh, and we were able to automate the vast, vast majority of the communication of nearly 200,000 messages, um, only escalating about 1% to Georgia State staff members, situations quite like Austin's, uh, when he told us uh, that his father had just passed away and he wasn't sure he was going to be able to enroll. Um, oops. <laughs> Uh, most interestingly, uh, we engaged with Pell eligible and first gen students uh, far above the average of our uh, normal user and, uh, and they derived a great deal more value um, from the system. Uh, and <laughs> this slide, uh, this is Scott Burke, played here by Robert Downey Jr. Um, he told us that he ended up saving uh, staff, about uh, 10 to 15 full-time staff members would have been required to do this type of outreach and support without the help of artificial intelligence, uh, and that not only were we successful, but we were also able to do it without having to put an excess burden on his existing staff or force him to hire new staff members. Uh, overall, we boosted enrollment about 4%. Uh, that means we dropped summer melt around uh, 21%. Um, and we've actually kept doing so over the past three years, uh, getting down to record lows at the university. Uh, we took them from a 19% summer melt down to nearly 10% uh, while boosting enrollment every year, year over year, to record highs. Um, I think all told, we've helped this school grow net tuition revenue by about $12 million. <laughs> Uh, and we've helped hundreds and hundreds of students enroll in the, uh, the school of their dreams uh, without getting derailed along the way. Um, frankly, uh, our entire goal is to help students like Austin uh, every day to succeed, and we're doing so by 
focusing relentlessly on impact. Uh, although our name is Admit Hub, uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a misnomer at the moment because we're doing a great deal more work in uh, student success and retention than we ever thought we would. Um, in fact, uh, we're engaged in two randomized control trials at Cal State Northridge and Georgia State University uh, to see what our impacts are there in terms of getting students to persist and succeed. Uh, and frankly, the results are better than we ever thought possible, uh, at least early on. Um, more will come in the fall when we publish. But uh, this is a, a section of our amazing team, uh, most of which are first-gen, low-income uh, students uh, who are uh, testaments to the transformational power of higher education uh, that we hope students like Austin will achieve, uh, hopefully thanks to us. Um, these are some of our partners. Uh, we're proud to work with schools from the entire spectrum, uh, ranging from community colleges all the way to the Ivy Leagues. Um, and as I said, uh, our focus is not only on the application process and getting them to succeed, but frankly being the uh, helping hand to students from the moment they are interested in a school to the, frankly, the very end of their lives. Um, <laughs> I will say uh, it's very interesting building the software uh, because uh, it has an animating force that is, frankly, I still don't fully understand, uh, and students are incredibly vulnerable, honest, and open with it. So um, <laughs> it's almost as if it's alive. The most common thing students say to our uh, bots is thank you, uh, and we are astounded every day uh, as they reveal their vulnerability, um, insecurity, and um, challenges they're facing. Some say, uh, like Austin, um, they would not have even said these things to a person uh, for fear of being judged. Um, and that they wouldn't have made it through the, the college enrollment or retention process uh, without our support. So um, thanks to all our visionary schools, we're helping Austin and many students more get to this moment in their lives. And um, we're excited to share more as, uh, as we continue to grow. Thank you so much.